My name's Nate, this is Addison. The one back there making all the noise is... Every day we post something just short. Uh, hopefully it's inspirational, motivational. Hopefully there's a fresh idea, some advice. And every day she makes a lot of noise in front of us while we're talking. <laughs> it still works. Today, buddy. It is Wednesday, August 5th. Today is Blogger Day. I don't really know why it's... So Blogger is... Oh, a... Which is Watermelon Day. Didn't we already have Watermelon Day? Yeah, but we're gonna have to celebrate that on the weekend. Okay, okay. We can celebrate it again. Why not? Because that makes just about as much sense as Blogger Day. Blogger Day, for some reason, is a day to celebrate Blogger, the blog publishing service that got started in 1999 and then Google bought in like 2003. It helped really kickstart the generation of people sharing their written thoughts online. It makes no sense. The, you'd think, oh, well, it must be the day that Blogger was launched, which was August 25th, 1999. I'm not sure what we're doing on August 5th. Uh, but anyway, in today's uplifting news, a boy, a little boy, a five-year-old, raised $1.6 million walking six miles using his prosthetic legs. The kid's name is Tony. And Tony lost his legs at a very young age. Uh, this is just, I, I was, I still probably have dried up tears in my eyes, but like Tony, he is a foster child um, who, who now is adopted by a new family because he was abused by his parents. And because of that, of that abuse, he lost his legs. When he was a little baby, at just even like 41 days old, I think he had two broken legs. And so those legs never healed and they had to amputate them. So he's got these prosthetic legs now. And, and, and so he's, he just got these prosthetic legs. He just got them at like five years old. But because of COVID, now because of the pandemic, he hasn't been able to get them properly fitted and he hasn't been able to do all this stuff with, with doctors and stuff, like working on his prosthetic legs. So he's got like an initial fit. He can, he can wear them, but they're not perfect. But that didn't matter. And he's been following this guy, Captain Tom. And I don't, Captain Tom is uplifting news. I think he's this like 100 year old who like raised a bunch of money like walking in his yard or something like that. Well, Tony, this little five year old has been watching this stuff about Captain Tom and he's obsessed with him. He's obsessed with how, like, how he accomplishes stuff. So Tony was just like, let's do it. Let's figure out how to walk on these things. So he and his parents, have been walking, started this whole campaign and, and it's been on the news and the national news now and the world news now. And so, yeah, he they raised all this money. Tony, whenever he says, see something and it looks like it might be difficult to do, he says he wants to try it. He'll do it Tony's way. Wow, if this kid can do this kind of stuff with no legs and like the pandemic has made things even harder for him, we can do anything we want, right? Anyway, this kid Tony is freaking awesome. I don't know if I can follow it with a joke, but here, since I, we were trying to do a joke every day, let's try it. No, you cannot steal the joke. Okay, okay. So, Cosmic Nate. No way! Of someone named Cosmic Nate. I knew this was going to be a good joke. <laughs> someone named Cosmic Nate on Reddit posted this. What is a seal's favorite subject? Art, art, art. <laughs> I'm working on a project where I need to get some help for a service that there's some incomplete documentation for. It's for work, it's for census, and we need to kind of figure this out. But it looks like we need to kind of use some back channels to figure out some stuff because the there's some confusion. And so it was interesting, I, I reached out to uh, someone um, in my, a LinkedIn acquaintance, and they immediately were like, I totally will help. You know, if you can't get the help you need from, from this channel, just let me know and, and we'll figure out something else to do. I don't really know this person. It's just some random LinkedIn acquaintance. But it's just like this great example, again, of half the battle of like solving most of your problems is just showing up. Just like opening your mouth and asking for help. Pinging that person who you don't know 
You know, not something super spammy and aggressive, but like, hey, if you need something, there's a lot of people to ask. My first deal for our first startup was because I just reached out to some CEO whose business I saw in Wired Magazine featured, and I was like, hey, I really like what you're doing. Maybe we can brainstorm a project together. It wasn't a sales pitch. It wasn't spammy at all. And he was like, oh, cool. You're doing some cool stuff too. And that conversation led to another conversation, which led to like a five-figure deal. It's all was because of just a, a simple, short honest, pleasant, cold email. The high rise thing, I had an offer for $15 million to buy high rise. How'd it come about? Just random emails I was sending to people. Longer story, and like obviously if you wanna sell your business, you're gonna get a better price if people are coming to you. But it's just another good example of it. You don't, you don't have to feel powerless. There's a lot of people that wanna to talk to you and help out. Again, as long as you're not spamming them with garbage that they don't need, there's plenty of people who want to help and give you feedback and assistance. Just show up. Mercy said you can get a pony if you like riding ponies. Well, if I like riding ponies, I would have to like, like it until I'm like 13. And also, I have to be 13. And you have to be 13? Okay.